What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a cool technique for creating a stencil effect using any image in Photoshop. To get started, I'm just going to go ahead and press Command J on the keyboard to make a copy of that layer. And I'm going to come down here to the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the palette and choose threshold. Now the threshold adjustment is very interesting because it gives you, you know, kind of a very simplified uh, black and white kind of effect. Now, once you have something that looks pretty good, you want to try to get a good amount of detail in the face. You can just hold down the shift key select both layers and press command E to merge them together and then I want to get rid of um, most of this black that's in the background here so a quick way that I can do that is to just grab my pen tool follow the rough shape of the hat it doesn't have to be exact but you know uh, you just want to get rid of most of this black background here so I'm going to use the pen tool cut into a little bit of the shoulder continue to follow the path all the way around up into here go around the corner a little bit and then close the shape. Now once you've done that, press Command Enter and that'll activate your selection and then you can just hit Delete. Now what we're going to do is create a new layer behind that one and just fill it with white and then I'm going to once again merge those two together. So this is our threshold effect alright and you can you know experiment with the blending modes and kind of see how it looks um, overlaid on top of the image below. Sometimes you can get unexpected but cool looking results Pin light is actually kind of cool because it just picks up a little bit of the skin color uh, from below. But what you can do from here is, you know, maybe add some textures to it on top of it, right? So I have two textures here, one that's kind of like a grungy paper and then another one that looks like a, like a cool space texture. All right, and all I'm going to do is kind of rotate this around, maybe fill up the canvas with it by doing a free transform and just holding down shift. And then once again, you know, play around with the blending modes, which you can do quickly by uh, pressing shift and then plus or minus on the keyboard, and that will allow you to quickly kind of scroll through all of your blending modes here. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, checked it out or picked up a copy yet, um, be sure to check out my Essential Photoshop Tutorials ebook where, you know, I go into a bit more detail about blending modes um, and, you know, even give you guys some previews of what they look like and everything like that. Linear burn is kind of a cool effect, and I think what I'm going to do now is maybe see how this looks if I desaturate it. So I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer and check off this box that says use previous layer to create clipping mask. And that's just going to give me like a, you know, a desaturated version of my texture. Now I'm going to add the other texture on top of it. See if I grab that space texture now, throw that on top you'll see it automatically apply to clipping mask, which I don't want. So I'm going to hold down the Alt Option key, move my cursor in between the space layer and the black and white adjustment layer, and then just click. For this layer, I'm going to move it and apply a blending mode of screen and see how that looks. All right, I'm just going to free, do a free transform to scale it up a bit. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll flip it the other way. All right, something like that. And this time I'm going to click the adjustment layer icon hold down the Alt Option key while I do it and then click on Levels and check off this box once again to apply a clipping mask just to the space texture. Now what I can do is kind of move in the left hand slider to make this a little more, give it a little more punch and contrast. I'm going to leave the white slider where it is so I get something like this. Alright and if I want to I can select this space image once again, just call it space, add a hue saturation adjustment layer to that and because I'm adding this in between these two layers, it'll automatically have a clipping mask applied. But what that enables me to do is to just change the color of that one layer. And the other cool thing about it is that, you know, say I don't want all of this to be blue, maybe I just want part of it. I can use a gradient tool that fades from solid black to transparent, like so. And I can just brush in or, you know, use the gradient to bring back in some of the original color uh, from the layer below. So if I do that, you know, in the corner a little bit, maybe have it come in from the top. You can get some some cool, you know, variety there. So it's a little bit cooler over here with the blue. 
and then we still have a little bit of that red. Just as another option, you know, to show you guys what else you can do with this. But something like that looks pretty cool. So that's just a quick way to get some, some cool and interesting visual effects uh, that have this kind of stencil look and adding textures to it really quickly using blending modes. I hope that you guys have found this video to be helpful. Hopefully you learned a few new tips or techniques along the way. If so, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, as I mentioned, uh, check out our Essential Photoshop Tutorials ebook, which is available for free just by signing up for the email list. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, thanks for your support, and we will see you next time.